Good morning, class. Um, I just want to send out a quick video because I know sometimes all these emails and text announcements are a little impersonal, so I just want to make sure I'm putting a face out there, the name and a voice to uh, what's going on, even though you do see my face and voice in some of the videos throughout the course. But um, I just want to talk a little bit, first of all, about the schedule. I know I sent an announcement and an email out about this in regards to how our schedule is a little bit different than some online classes, where a lot of online classes choose one particular day every week and everything is due on that day and I think with uh, our class just the the material doesn't break down in a good natural way that way if I was to try to do that we'd have some weeks that are really really busy and some weeks that aren't so just the way the content's laid out that just doesn't make sense and so what I do instead is I try to make the the deadlines very linear in the sense of once we're done with a module we have a deadline and then we move on to the next one. And so what that equates to is essentially a four day chunk. So modules are due basically every four days. Um, when we have exams, it's basically a three day window. Um, for some of the proctored exams, that's a little bit different just based on when the testing center is available. But that's just kind of the basic rough idea. So what I would do if I were you is try to come up with a four day schedule for how you're gonna be approaching these modules because the modules are very formulaic. Um, in the sense that we start off with uh, objectives and overview and just an introduction to the module, then there's the learning activities, where you're doing the readings, watching some videos, you do the video lesson questions, then you do the problem set, then you do either an analysis assignment or the investigating statistics in the media assignment. So wherever you go, I'd try to come up with something that works for you to be working on the course a little bit every day. This class does not work well in marathon sessions. It does take a little bit every day. So I'd come up with some sort of plan where on day one of the module, you say, hey, I'm gonna knock out the readings. So I'm gonna get all the way through all the learning activities. And then in the second day, say, I'm gonna knock out the problem set. And then in the third day, I'm gonna tackle the analysis assignment or the investigating statistics in the media assignment, giving me the fourth day to catch up and say, all right, if I didn't finish the entire problem set, let me catch up on that. Or if I had to ask questions about one of them, I can wait for my instructor's response. Um, so uh, keep that in mind that you do want a window for response. You don't want to wait till the last minute because if you get stuck on something and you need help, then there's not enough time for any sort of back and forth communication as far as that. Um, I mentioned that investigating statistics in the media assignment. Uh, please see the email I sent out about that. There's some good clarifications in there because um, often um, on the first one, students are still having a hard time identifying what a population and a sample is, what statistics are. So it's really important that you actually have a sample. And so what's going on in whatever article you found actually looked at a sample of subjects that are meant to represent a population. So it's a representative sample. So often this is going to come up in a survey or a poll or something along those lines. Make sure you're not just taking a proportion. So we can't just say a hundred of the thousand people in whatever it is have a certain trait. So that hundred people is not a sample because those hundred people have the trait, the other 900 don't. So it's not representative then. So we gotta make sure that we're taking a sample, that the number of people that we're taking a sample of, whatever that is, is representative of a much bigger population. That population is usually something so big that we couldn't possibly study it. And that's why we're taking a sample, is to try to get a little picture, a little picture of what's going on with the big picture. So that's what's going on with our investigating stats assignment. Um, the other thing I just wanna talk about real quick is just uh, when to expect responses from me for your various types of questions. So my typical day as far as my normal life is I get my kids going with school. Um, so around nine o'clock or so, I'll do a little me time where I work out, do some reading or whatever it takes. And then uh, around 9, 30, 10 o'clock, I'll uh, usually get to work. And so at that point, um, um, I'll usually uh, answer emails first, look at my open math messages and answer those. At which point I do whatever other work I have to do for the day, uh, whether that's grading, whether that's other stuff. Um, I'm negotiating a contract this summer as well. So whatever else is going on, and then I'll usually check back on my email throughout the day as long as I have time after that. So you can usually expect responses earlier in the morning if you email me late at night, and then throughout the day I try to uh, address things as they come in if possible, and if not, worst case scenario the next day. Now, I do typically work seven days a week, so you can expect responses on the weekend. There's a couple exceptions to that. Um, I do go camping every now and then, so this weekend's one of those, and I wanna make sure that you're aware of that. Um, so when I go camping, what I typically try to do is I try to answer all my emails before I leave on Friday. 
And then on Saturday, I don't check email at all, so I try to enjoy myself while I'm camping. And then I'll usually come back home at some point on Sunday, and I will try to catch up on emails at some point on Sunday. So basically, um, on the weekends that I go camping, Saturday, I will be offline. But other than that, you can expect responses from me. Um, so this weekend, I'm going camping. Next weekend as well, I'll be camping with my Boy Scout troop that I'm a Scoutmaster for. Um, and then I'll try to notify you anytime that I am going camping where I'll have a day that I'm out of communication. That way, if you don't hear back from me on a Saturday, you're not like, where the heck is he? Um, so otherwise, you can usually expect responses from me uh, daily. And so um, if, I don't, if I don't respond to you the same day you send it, the next day, you should expect a response. Um, so that's it. Keep on rolling with the class. If you have questions, reach out because I am here for you and I'm happy to help. So let me know.